United are back, football is back and beating Chelsea. It seems to be the thing to do this season. 4-0 at Old Trafford earlier this season and tonight 2-0 at Stamford Bridge. It was a largely forgettable first 45 minutes from both teams up until Anthony Martial's wicked header made the difference. But United in that second half, we came out with far more tempo. We wanted the game more. And VAR was on our side tonight. Two disallowed goals. United beating Chelsea 6-0 on aggregate this season. Hello. Yes, please. That game there, you know, given what happened with City and them being banned from the European football for two years, fifth place is a Champions League spot, changes things. And United there took advantage. It's now down to Spurs, to Arsenal, to Chelsea and United. As Gary Neville said towards the end of his commentary, to show some sort of consistency between now and the end of the season to get that Champions League spot. If that performance, that whole team performance there is anything to go by, United are going to have a better second half of the season. And it certainly wasn't a good first half because we were lethargic, no real precision. Bruno Fernandes was making a bit of a difference in there, but Martial and James up front were very, very ineffective. No real shots on target up until the goal. No shots on target at all, I think, from either team. Really poor. But that goal from United made the difference. Aaron wan slowly but surely, has been improving as an attacking fullback as the season has progressed. He turned his man inside out twice and a wonderful cross was only bettered by the header that Martial put on the end of it to put United ahead. 1-0. And you can't say that either team deserved it more than the other, but United had it going into half-time. Kante coming off injured, that certainly made a difference to United and how much control we had in midfield, because I thought Fred was very well, very good, sorry. But that second half, just every man wanted it more, I think, than Chelsea. They're going to feel aggrieved for having two goals disallowed, but one was a push, absolutely, two hands in the back of his man, and one was offside. What the fuck are you going to do? And United took advantage. Harry Maguire scored a header tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Bruno Fernandes put in what has to be one of the best corners I've seen United have in three or four years. Whip, power, placement. What you would expect from a top-level professional footballer, but we've rarely seen it. And Maguire making a run from the back post rather than just chilling in the middle. Got the run on his man. Didn't mess around with his header. United 2-0. Stamford Bridge seems to be our place to go to now. Four games, last four games against Chelsea, we won three of them at Stamford Bridge, a place where we never get results. But it seems like Solskjaer loves playing at the bridge. Someone I haven't talked about yet, which is a surprise really, given how good he was, but Eric Bailly, man, come on, round of applause. Probably man of the match, Maguire. Fantastic, but Bailly there. After so long out, you would expect him to come in slowly, but by their showing why United fans have still got time for him. Because when he's on form and when it works with Bay, he is sensational. The timing of his tackles there, perfection, aggressive in the right manners. Fantastic performance from him. It's just that you know that unfortunately Bay has still got that little, he's an on the edge defender. Rather than someone like Van Dyke who's just calm all the time. When it works for Bay, it's great. And it's great to watch. Maybe that's going to be a bit of a partnership. Let's see what happens with Lindelof. But three at the back clearly works for United, I think. Playing Williams and wan slightly further up. It works. And Luke Shaw tonight, I think, played very well. Every man. Fred. Bruno. You've got to talk about Bruno, man. His tenacity and his tempo is going to up United's football in the second half of this season. That's why I think January United did had one of the best transfer windows in January in comparison, comparison sorry, to the rivals around us because we brought Bruno Fernandes in and Odi Nogalo, two players who can change our style of play. Nogalo's not going to be a man that comes in and scores 20 goals, but he's going to be, I mean, he scored. Imagine the away in there had Nogalo scored towards the end there. But what a night at Stamford Bridge. I expected United to be, to be far better in that first half, but we weren't. But the goal from Martial was perfectly timed. It forced Chelsea to come out towards us a little bit more in the second half, and we took advantage of that. It opened up more spaces, and we were far more threatening. And there was more tempo to the whole team in that second half. Fred with his energy in midfield. Matic, I think in the last couple of months, you've got to praise him. I think his form's been very good as a solely defensive midfielder, cleaning and sweeping, passing to Fred and letting him do the running. 
good from Matic, it's good from the whole midfield. Dan James, I thought, was largely ineffective, but Dan James shouldn't be playing and shouldn't be starting up front for United at Stamford Bridge, is what it is. We have injuries, Igala's not ready to start. But United there. We, after the City game, as I said, it was an opportunity for United to take some sort of advantage, and we did that tonight. 2 0 against Chelsea. We're now three points off fourth. Great finish from Martial. Even better to see Maguire scoring a header by man of the match for me. But wan -Bissaka, Fred, Matic, every man, pretty much to a T, put in an excellent performance tonight. And Solskjaer will be delighted with that. I'm buzzing about it as well. It's what United need to do from now on is get that consistency. Don't now go next week against, uh, against Bruges and just collapse and crumble. Or is it this week? Yeah, it is this week. Of course it is. I'm going. But United there... 2-0 at Stamford Bridge, 6-0 against Chelsea on aggregate in the Premier League this season. And it's I love to see this shithousery against Chelsea. And I love to see two disallowed goals by VAR. Happy days. Let me know who your man of the match was. But it's going to be exciting to see from now on in the rest of the season, what can United do with Bruno Fernandes in the team? Clearly, a lot more than we could do in the first half of the season.